And off into the sunset we go. How beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, I hit the wall. Can't get you out of my... What's going on everybody, Dragast here, and welcome back to some more of the best Besiege creations. So this week I got a lot of bigger designs, some very unique designs, this one being probably one of the biggest. This is a mechanical centipede, if you haven't already guessed, and it works actually remarkably well. Usually these huge designs, they only go backwards and forwards, but you can actually turn this one as well. Mind you, it's extremely slow because it's so big, but you can see these guys are pushing backwards, these guys are pushing forwards, and we are slowly turning. What's also so impressive with this creation is it is not in invincibility mode and creations this big usually have to be put in invincibility mode or they break. This thing, no. It's totally fine sticking on its own and uh, just showcasing some really awesome cog work designs here. Now I'm just curious to see if these guys can in fact whack my legs down. I think I got one damaged leg. You can see this guy right here. <laughs> I don't think it's working very well anymore. I'm gonna try and kill them all if I can, but I don't really have any weapons aside from my feet. David and Goliath right here. Let's see if these guys can in fact take down this beast of a creation. Okay, I'm definitely having some wobbling problems here. I think they are starting to hit my legs out, but you can see most of them are just chilling in the middle here, not really knowing what to do. If you guys whack the legs, you might have a serious chance here. Okay, let's see if we can climb a bit here. I think I'm actually... Oh yeah, that front leg is not doing too well. Thankfully, we have so many legs, like this leg's broken right here. There's a few other legs not working, and it seems to be that I'm actually climbing this. I'm just gonna keep trying to walk forwards here and see what happens. Uh-oh. They are starting to hit my legs. I did, in fact, lose one of my legs. The good things about being a centipede is, in fact, you don't need all your legs, so it's still... Honestly working pretty well. We got a few broken legs here that are not working. Uh, this right side might start to fall down here anytime now. Man, this is the beast that could not <laughs> fall. I don't know. I think I've lost like three legs now. Some of these legs not really working too well. I think they're starting. You can see this one's like totally disconnected here. They are really starting to beat this thing up, but it doesn't want to fall. You can see it's leaning a bit. I mean, it's seen better days, but I think it's still got a lot of fight left inside of it. Okay, so I backed up just to see the damage here. It's actually pretty much uncontrollable now. It just kind of goes in a circle. I can't really turn it anymore. But as you can see, we got pretty much, I think these three legs are not really working anymore. This is really the only leg on this side that's holding this whole creation up. This side's not doing too bad. We only lost like one leg, I think, so yeah. I'm gonna have to say the David and Goliath battle is pretty much a tie. I can't really kill all of these guys. I mean, I'd have to get really lucky, but I did do quite a bit of damage over here. I pretty much demolished their whole town, left a few legs there, and uh, yeah, they're still <laughs> fighting me. So yeah, that is the centipede. Let's actually turn on god mode here and drag objects, because I want to see this thing fall over. I want to see how much damage it does, so I am going to... Let's pull the mainframe here. There we go. And... <laughs> Yes! Well, it didn't break. I was hoping for it to break, but that looks really cool regardless. Guys, it is still fucking going. I'm losing all my legs, but I'm actually <laughs> using my cogs as legs now, pretty much. That's uh, kind of impressive. So this next design is pretty cool. This is uh, something I haven't seen yet, so I figured I'd showcase it. Uh, we've seen crafts that focus on jumping off ramps and landing well, but this is just a craft that is focused on jumping as high as it can. And it's got this really cool little me mechanism here that pretty much spins extremely quickly and hits the ground. Let's actually slow it down to see what is actually happening. So... It is actually just pushing off the ground and pushing it straight up into the air. So I'm curious, can I actually jump up here successfully? I'm going to say it's probably extremely easy to do that. Uh, my craft is a bit broken here. You can see these middle wheels are a bit sideways, but we're still going to try it here. So here we go. That looks good right about there. Oh, oh, come on. First try. Am I, am I going to get a first try? Oh, so close. Okay, let's try and get some speed this time. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different angle, like right over here I think will be good, and then I can kind of try and churn it in the air and smack this guy right off. That was a complete success. That's all I wanted to do. I'm happy. Now let's see if I can land on top of this house. This is just fun trying to land on things. I have no idea. This Is this good? Yes! Perfect. 
I actually wonder if I can do damage just by the force pushing upward. So if we go really close to this and try and hit it, oh my god, yes! I knocked it quite drastically as well. You can see that whole front has been taken off. Let's go try this at a few different levels now. I'm curious to see what I can destroy. Okay, so I'm at the Sacred Flame here. I'm just curious to see if we can, in fact, take this thing down. So I'm just going to actually add some water cannons onto this thing, uh, if there's even a good place for it. I guess I could put them... Yeah, we can put them right here totally. That should be just fine. We'll do that and that. Now, there is a Y button on this craft, so I don't know if I'm going to break it or not by trying to use the water cannons, but we'll find out. Okay, let's see if I can do this first try. I'm going to get as much speed as I can because I kind of got to get... Wow! Can this thing ever go high? Oh my god, I jumped right the freak over it. Well, first try didn't work. Let's try and do a little bit of a less hit. Oh my god, this is going too high. Alright, I'm gonna have to do like a long jump here uh, to try and get this thing. Okay, so here we go. Long jump time. Let's do it right about there. Come on, please land on top. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That was like the perfect hit! I took everything out! Alright, let's see if these water cannons work here. I'm a little bit stuck, but that's okay. There we go, let's just move up and extinguish that motherfucker! Yes! <laughs> okay, now I'm just curious. Can I in fact Goomba stomp this castle as well? <laughs> let's see if I can land on top of it. First try? Uh, am I really this good with this thing? Oh, well we hit it, but we didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. Okay, let's get nice and close in here, and BAM! <laughs> there we go! That is just a very unique way to destroy something, and it feels very rewarding. Okay, we're gonna do one more here. If I can, I'm actually stuck on something. Oh god. Yeah, uh, I didn't realize that I could get stuck upside down. I never got stuck before. Oh, it looks like I'm on one little block here, so let's actually just get off of that and move forward here. Or am I going to land on top of it? Nope. Oh, shit. It's going to be close. Oh, I took a little bit of it down. I was hoping not to do that because I want to go nice and close and do that. That's so much better. Okay. Well, that was fun. This is such a great little creation. I'm going to put a link in the description if you do want to play with it for yourself. Uh, yeah, just a, a very... I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's simple, but a simple idea here that turned a craft extremely fun. Okay, and next up we got this little thing. This is, well, a land ship, if you will. And <laughs> I love the added water. Look at this little wiggle going on. It doesn't really do much. I mean, it does have a few cannons on it. It's pretty much a pirate ship, so let's go see if we can kill some peasants. Hello, peasants! How's it going? I'm just a little pirate. Don't mind me. There you go. Your house is gone. Go fuck off. How about that? And hello, knights! How's it going? Let's make sure this is all aimed up. That looks great right there. Show them some of those cannonballs. Uh, let's actually turn it around and use the other cannons as well, because that's all we got left. There you go! Fuck off! And now they can't even get to me because my water is pushing them away. This is an awesome little craft. It, I mean, the, the water you can use to your advantage. Okay, let's see how good this water truly is. We're at the Queen's Fodder right now. Probably the map with the most enemies here. And as you can see, they can't get in. They can probably get in behind me, so I'm trying to keep around here. Holy shit! Oh my god! What the hell? I just turned... It turned into a steam cannon! Oh my god! And now we are flying away because... We're on fire. I did not expect that one. So if you don't know, if you ignite the water cannons with some sort of fire, it actually turns them into steam cannons, and that's exactly what happens when this thing gets damaged, and we just took out everyone with this steam cannon. Oh my god, and we're flying away. That's how much propulsion this steam cannon is giving this thing. So yeah, the land pirate ship. I gotta be honest, the funnest thing to do is to ignite it and turn it into a steam cannon because it's totally random. This is frigging awesome. And off into the sunset we go. How beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, I hit the wall. So I've been waiting a long time to find a UFO in Besiege that actually reacts as you would expect a UFO to. Kind of like a VTOL, if you will. Uh, and this one does exactly that. You can see the actual spinning pretty much stabilizes this, I think. And it's extremely easy to fly. We can actually just go across here. You see, it's definitely very UFO-like. You can totally control this, by the way. Let's actually see if we can go over here. Uh, now, the coolest thing about this is it actually utilizes spinning bombs to do an awesome little spread here. So if you let these things go, you can see it just goes everywhere. They're kind of hard to aim, but uh, we've seen those in the past, and that's actually really awesome to see. But yeah, this is one of the easiest flying crafts to use. You see, I'm just stabilizing in the air perfectly right now. I can totally just start moving if I want to. Uh, you obviously can go down as well. Let's see if we can land this thing, if there's any issues with landing it. Okay, there we go. Just kind of bouncing it out here. Yeah, this thing 
bar none, the best and easiest thing to fly in a long time, and I've totally touched down. No problem at all. These guys are swinging at me. I mean, if a UFO comes in and you have pikes and that's it, get the fuck out of there. You're definitely not going to survive. So yeah, the only thing... What the hell was that? Okay, I'm assuming I don't need that because it just fell off my craft. Okay, let's see if I can hit the statue here. We're coming down. The only hard part about this is it's hard to tell which way is forward, obviously, with a circular craft. There we go. It's not a very fast thing, as you can see, but it uh, does do some awesome damage. You ever see a night mosh pit before? Well, now you can with this creep. <laughs> look at these guys. Look how high they can jump. That's actually impressive. Some of them look look at that That's like a six-foot jump. Uh, but yeah, we're over here. Oh god. I'm getting dizzy. Okay. Hold on I gotta get to the right part of the craft here. There we go. It's <laughs> better So yeah, I don't think we'll do much damage to the Knights here because they go right below my craft And that's really the only safe zone, but let's try and uh, let go of these right here and yeah This thing is really hard to aim a really cool weapon design, but honestly not good if you're trying to precisely aim it Okay, I think these guys are so dumb that I can seriously just go down here, and yeah, I killed a bunch of them. They are not smart. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, well they did get me down, but I killed most of them as well. Look at the guys stuck to the craft. This guy got fucked up. Okay guys, he beat me. You can stop now. <laughs> Well, if the bombs can't hit them when I actually use them, let's just use their aggressiveness to my advantage. So go ahead, guys. Keep keep whacking at me. Yeah, one of them is going to hit this bomb anytime. <laughs> yes! They actually all blew up into my craft. I got to see that again in slower motion. That was awesome. Okay, we dropped this down to a nice and easy 7%. Here we go. I'm just going to start slowly coming down. One of them's going to whack it. Is it going to be this guy? Are you going to hit it? Oh, almost. Come on. Hit it. You can do it. Oh, this is so close. Come on. Oh, God, that scared me. Holy shit. All right, is there any actually in the explosion here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's totally guys in here. They're just flying up with it. That is seriously impressive. Look at how high these guys are right now, and they're just slowly spreading out. That was an awesome explosion. So, yeah, the UFO, I got to say once again, it's slightly more enjoyable when you intentionally blow up yourself with it. So fans of Firewatch will appreciate this one. This is Two Forks Lookout. Now, I wasn't really going to showcase this one, but I do appreciate the attention to detail in here. We have the uh, fire map. Uh, we also even got Henry's typewriter here. I got to set it up. There we go. That's I, I guess technically that's Henry's typewriter. Uh, I guess you really can't do much more than that in Besiege, but we got his bed. I mean, the attention to detail in here is pretty damn impressive. His stove over here and everything. And you can also open and close the door. So yeah, a nice little design doesn't really do much, but it pays tribute to another series on the channel. If you haven't watched the Firewatch series, I do recommend you go check it out. Pretty awesome gameplay. So for our final design this week, we got a very awesome mech walker. Now this thing's got a few tricks up its sleeve. First of all, it's got a really unique turning mechanism that you can turn it on a dime. Not only that, you can in fact jump with it, and in fact we can probably do some sort of tricks in the air. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, the, the stability of this thing is really impressive, as you can see. Uh, it takes a long time to get this thing to fall. <laughs> Holy shit, I just got it to explode. But yeah, when you're intentionally not trying to make it fall over, it's actually extremely impressive. Uh, it's got a cute little walk, though. It's kind of on its tippy toes, if you will. Uh, but yeah, like I, I don't get how this thing can be so damn stable. It just it sticks to the ground almost. Now, that's not the only tricks up its sleeve. It actually has a grabber here. Let's see if we can grab one of these guys. Oh, perfect. Look at that. First try. Uh, yeah, this is actually a manned mech here, if you want. So we got a little guy in there, and look it. He's controlling this thing. This is probably the highlight of his life. So because he's a knight... Oh, shit. He died. How? Wh why did you die? You didn't have to die. All right, you know what? You're just staying in there. I'm just going to spew out blood. That looks a little bit more badass. So we're going to make it over to the knights here to show off these weapons. It would feel just wrong to actually attack the knights with a knight inside. So here we go. We got a few cannons on it. Nothing uh, too crazy here. Oh my god, I took out the whole thing just by cannons. Okay, well we don't have much to aim at anymore. I guess we can try and turn this and fire the missiles over here. We got some missiles as well. That one didn't go very far at all. Yeah, those missiles, I'm going to have to... Hold on, let me actually just reset this. Because you can, in fact, aim these up. So we can try this out again here. Let's see how far these things can go. Yeah, so if you aim them up, you can totally just keep shooting them all the way down. 
And then finally, it's got a really cool weapon here, something that I haven't really seen before. We got a steam cannon in the back that actually just lobs out some grenades. You can actually close this off too. So yeah, really cool design. I've never seen something like that on a mech. And finally, it's got a little bit of fire cannons if you do want to get some pesky uh, knights away from your feet. So yeah, really impressive current craft. We got this thing. This is the coolest thing. You can pick up anyone you want and uh, bring it back inside, assuming they um, cooperate with you. But yeah, the the actual lobber of the bombs is uh, what impressed me most, most about this design. So yeah, guys, that is the Manned Bipedal Mech. And once again, we're going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed some of these awesome creations this week. As always, guys, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking. And I will see you in the next one.